Hey, what's up guys? So um, our loan with the Radiant Raptor is over, so we are going to return it. But first, uh, we're going to tell you guys a very quick, uh, simple review uh, about if we liked or not our six months or so with Raptor. So uh, I'll be kind of the demon here and she'll be the angel. So we'll have like three things we love about it and three things we kind of wish were different about it. But overall, we are very pleased with the telescope. The only reason why we don't want to buy it uh, is because we already have a mid 70 mm Apple and the mid is almost identical uh, to this one in terms of size and design and features. So. Right, and if we didn't already have the mid, we'd likely invest in the Raptor. Oh, so. for sure, yeah. So um, let's start with something you loved about it. So something that we really, really liked about the Raptor was the design and the portability. Also, it is adaptable with full frame and crop sensor cameras. And can you explain a little bit about the threads? Yeah, so here you have a filter uh, thread, so you can actually put a filter in there really easily. What you can also do is attach a crop sensor camera easily here, or if you have a full frame camera, you can flip this adapter here and uh, you will have larger threads for your full frame camera. So it's, it's really simple to use. Just flip the adapter depending on the camera you have and it's very cool. Very nice. Okay, now let the demon shine in here. So one thing I disliked about it, which is not, it's really, really minor. It's not a big deal. It's really minor. Uh, if you're using a full frame camera, you will have some type of coma on the edges, but very, very minor. So it's, it's actually surprisingly good, uh, but it's not you know, fully, fully, fully full frame capable if, if you really want to go, you know, it's to zoom specifics. in like crazy. Uh, but overall, uh, it's more than enough because either way, even if you use a full frame camera, you usually crop out some of the edges anyway. So um, you will have some come out on the edges, but um, it's, it's very minor. Another thing that we liked about it was that it had a wide field of view, which is really great for capturing uh, nebulae, like nar large nebulae. Um, yeah. And pretty much anything will fit in there. It's the, the size of the, the field of view is, is very wide, so you can fit anything in there. Okay, so the next thing I disliked about uh, this telescope uh, is that it didn't come with any uh, shoe finder. So every telescope we bought in the past came with one, so maybe that's why we were a bit shocked that it didn't come with one. Uh, so we had to uh, take the one from our mead and we had to like go to Home Depot and get the special screws for uh, right. attaching it on the rings and, and it took like two or three days, so it was kind of a waste of time and kind of frustrating. So if you're going to get this telescope, uh, know that you will need a finder shoe uh, to attach on this because it does not come with one. So if you want to attach your gaze scope or your uh, ASI Air, for example, you will need a finder shoe. Another thing that we liked about the Raptor is that it came with a lot of accessories and a bag. So it's, you know, portable and, you know, you don't have to worry about your things messing up. It's, it all comes with a case. And I think that was really awesome because sometimes you're like left with the options of do I need to get, you know, um, we haven't bought a Pelican case, but you know, if you had to, you're like, what are my options? So no options comes with it. And the last thing I disliked about this telescope is um, even though it came with a bunch of accessories, it did not come with uh, long enough dovetails. So it came with two of these, uh, one tiny like ant dovetail and one uh, radiant, like a larger one, but it's still short. So uh, I'm sure this would work with some setups, but for our setup, there was no way we could attach this uh, on the telescope and use our uh, big cameras or filter wheel. So we had to uh, salvage a dovetail that was much longer from a past telescope and use that on the, uh, on the Raptor. Uh, I'm not really sure why they included uh, such short dovetails, but that was uh, the last thing that we uh, thought was a bit of a, a miss here uh, for this package. But besides that, guys, we actually love this Raptor uh, once again. Uh, yeah, we overall, had... it was a really great telescope. Uh, besides those three things, everything else, I could not find anything else wrong with this Raptor. Um, so we are really uh, in love with it and we recommend it. So uh, it's a great telescope, a great wide field instrument that will, uh, I think, it's, if you guys want to have a wide field telescope, this is one of the best options out there. And um, yeah, so. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, about what we feel about this telescope, uh, let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And class guys. guys.